Hello, it's me, Sam, here at Group of Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to use and install the ClearLag plugin for Bucket by Bob7L. As the name suggests, the ClearLag plugin tries to reduce or remove uh, the lag on your server. So, if you've got a lot of players on your server or whatever, it will try to remove the lag for the players. And it will do, it will try to uh, remove as many entities as it can. So, this is things like uh, mobs, uh, minecarts, boats and any items floating on the floor and stuff it will clean these up that will help reduce uh, the lag and free up some more RAM so your server obviously can operate faster so if you've got some issues with the lag this might be a good idea to have again if you don't have uh, issues with lag it's still good to have maybe so that your server can run faster and possibly support more plugins as a result so I'm just going to go over the commands and then I'll go over the configuration and how to install it uh, after so the main command is slash lag with a double G. Uh, it'll tell you what commands you have. Obviously, there's permission support. So what permissions will denote what uh, commands you have. The first one is lag clear. And basically, that will remove all the entities in this world uh, that you're standing in. So for instance, if I put some minecarts, minecarts are entities. Uh, if I get some boats, I might not be able to place them. There we go. These are basically entities and, uh, for instance, items floating like that. If I do lag clear, it will remove all these items there. Obviously, there's only um, what, five items there and removes seven. That's because some entities have spawned uh, around me during that time. That's the main commands you'll be using. So, if it's getting laggy and players are going, oh, this is so laggy, you can just do that quickly and it will remove most of the lag for you. We also do lag unload chunks and what this will do it will try to remove or unload any unused chunks so if, if for some reason the player logged out and it's still got the, the chunks loaded for that player then that will unload them freeing up RAM for the chunks that are being used. The next one is lag chunk and that will try to find the laggiest chunk and this works in conjunction with lag dp chunk which uh, has lag dp chunk and then the first parameter is x so 9 the z is the next 13 and then the world name so the lag uh, chunk will tell me the lag is chunk so here it is at 913 in world world which has seven entities and then I can use lag dp chunk with the same uh, parameters so the ones in orange the 913 and world to teleport there and it's teleported me to here which is the laggiest chunk apparently. Obviously it's not that uh, laggy at the moment because it's just me on it and not many entities at all. Okay, so those two work very well together. We've also got lag kill mobs, so here's a, a few sheep. A few sheep there. If someone's uh, gone crazy with a spore mob command or something um, then obviously you may want to remove or kill your mobs. Very simply lag kill mobs and that will kill all mobs in that world so 183 obviously there'll be mobs spawning all around here uh, skeletons and the caves and whatnot so it will remove everything in this world uh, lag area and then a radius in blocks so basically this will remove any entities within the gin radius so if I do say one it's not going to do many because that's just around me if I do 100 forever it's got 82 so if I for instance, drop a few outside the boats. Drop a boat down. If I do the radius here, for instance, of like one, it wouldn't do anything. If I do say ten, it should. There we go. It's caught in that radius around me now uh, and remove those entities. Okay. We've also got lag check. This is very useful. It tells you how many items are on the ground in the current world you're in, how many mobs are alive and how many players are alive. So at the moment you can see there, no items on the ground, uh, mobs are alive 210 and the only player alive is me. So if I track down an item and we'll do lag check again, there you go, items on the ground, uh, 1, mobs are alive 218, players are alive. And if I do lag clear, then it will remove all entities and if I just to check, it will tell you now items on the ground, zero. So that's a nice way of checking uh, whether your lag clear command worked. 
Um, right, there's three more to go. So, lag GC. So this will request the garbage collector. Um, I won't go over this too much. Uh, if you're interested in Java, or you know a bit about Java, you'll know what this does. But for those that don't, in very uh, simple terms, it will just try to reduce the RAM or free up as much RAM as possible based with uh, things using Java that are not needed anymore. Uh, your server it wouldn't shouldn't do too much, but you can just run it just in a, just just as a sort of safety. Uh, why not to reduce lag? Uh, lag TPS. This uh, runs a tick test uh, for good. Well, high end. You want to try and get it around about 20. So mine's quite good at 20 here. Uh, it, of course, this is about 18, 19. It shouldn't matter too much. Obviously, I've only got clear lag plugin run, so it's going to be 20. But as you add more and more plugins, it's going to be uh, a lot lower than this. So you really want this to be as close to 20 as possible. Uh, I don't. I, at 17, it's not too bad. Uh, 15, maybe it's okay. But uh, you want to get this as close to 20. So maybe removing laggy plugins will help get this up. Uh, and finally, we have lag reload, which, if you've got a config uh, for lag clear or clear lag, uh, then it will reload the config. Any changes. So that is all. Uh, actually, there are some other things. I shall just quickly go over an example how to do the signs. So you can use signs with this as well. So if I just place a sign on the top line, you need to clear lag without the double G. And then you can use commands here. So for instance, I can use clear lag check. And then when I right click this, it will effectively run the command for me here. So same as lag check uh, is here. And if I do another sign, for instance, if I do clear lag uh, area, for instance, this time, and then do 200, I can right click that sign, and 200 uh, area around me will be reduced. The same, so these are effectively the same as typing the command, except I can put them on signs and just right click them. And it's time to ring. So yeah, now I'm going to go over and go over how to install it and the configuration. So see you in a bit. Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm now going over quickly the installation and configuration for the Clear Live Plane. So link in description as always. Download up here. Uh, you will get a clearlag.jar. Drag and drop this into your plugins directory. Run the server up, and you should see. Clear lag loading, clear lag version, and whatever version you're running, and it will have anything uh, enabling checking for updates and stuff. Press stop. So that should all work fine. Obviously, it comes up with errors. Check them, uh, and it should create a clear lag uh, directory in your plugins directory with two fi files: config and custom clears. So let's quickly go over config.yml to start off with. Okay, so here's the clear lag configuration file. Uh, there is a, a nice page on the bucket div that goes over it. I'm going to go over it too, just to, to go over everything basically. Okay, so first of all, settings, auto update, it will uh, auto update when it's enabled, as you saw in the config. You can set that to true or false. Enable signs, as you saw in the uh, video at the end, I did uh, some signs allowing the uh, command to be run by our signs. You can set the true or false. Config version, just leave that alone. That tells you what version it is. Uh, and keep the spawn in memory. Uh, basically, that'll just keep the spawn area uh, in the back memory, so all the chunks will be there when people uh, spawn in the game. So you can set the true or false, whether you want to, not to keep that in the memory or not. OK, so this is the dispenser reducer. If you want to reduce the uh, how quickly dispensers uh, dispense. You can enable it here to true or false and uh, the time in the delay. So 100 uh, ticks, I believe that is. Uh, so you can basically reduce the global dispenser rate for that. Uh, the TNT reducer. So if you're going to explode a massive, huge amount of TNT, it will cause a lot of lag. If you want to have the TNT reducer, uh, part of a plugin to be running, then it will reduce these explosions. So you can set that to true there. Again, helping reduce lag. Uh, fire spread reducer, fire spread obviously 
they've got lots of fires everywhere they will all um, cause lag as well so you can reduce that as well so I said that to true and again there's a time so the rate of it obviously you can increase that or decrease that uh, depending on how quickly you want the fire to go or not uh, the chunk entity limiter so this will limit how many entities one chunk can hold so you can, uh, everything basically is false uh, so you can set the true if you want to use this and then the limit of how many entities this chunk can hold the spawn limiter so these are the limits for the monsters and animals uh, if you want a max on the amount of animal spawns or monster spawns you can set that to true or false and then the interval is how uh, the time uh, clear lag should check for over spawn so basically if it's, it's going to check if it's over 300 monsters then it will reduce it okay uh, these are the filters so these are the ones that should not be removed during uh, removals uh, so you've got all these items here I believe these are diamonds and stuff uh, basically when you do uh, clear that lag and stuff it will reduce all the items on the floor these are the IDs that won't be removed okay uh, you've got the meter, your TPS here, so the TPS meter so if it gets low or below a certain number then it will write some commands, this is a quite useful thing so first of all we need to enable it, it's true uh, the interval is how quickly it checks uh, it should check the thing, so this is in seconds, so every 15 seconds it will to check if the uh, TPS trigger is below uh, 14 so in game we had it about 20 and that's very fine uh, but if it gets below 14 and then it's going to be uh, quite laggy for the uh, server and players so it will run the following two commands so lag kill mobs and lag clear and this will obviously reduce all the mobs and entities so it should hopefully increase the uh, ticks per second and obviously you can add other commands here uh, to your liking you could even add weather commands or whatnot anything that can be run via the console uh, the kill mobs, here we go. So, this is uh, the filter for the kill mobs. So, when you do slash lag kill mobs, it removes every mob, uh, except from these filters here. So, villages, wolves, whores, and donkeys. Uh, for instance, if you don't want to uh, kill cats, you could add cats in there uh, and whatnot. So, these are the things it won't kill. Uh, mob spawners. So, obviously, mob spawners also can be laggy if the uh, they're going to be producing a lot of uh, mobs so this is how many mobs should be allowed to spawn near the mob spawners so the max is 4 uh, the item merger uh, in our last video I used Spigot and actually had a item merger thing but what this will do it will merge like items together and therefore all the items will be represented as, as a sort of a single item stack rather than multiple ones uh, so you can enable that there and then the radius as well yeah. uh, the auto removal option so this will just this is the sort of uh, it's a very good idea uh, instead of doing clear lag all the time it will remove entities uh, every now and again so first of all it gives you a warning message so you can change uh, what is said in the warning message obviously you can use color codes using the ampersand symbol and then the code after it so here we are warning ground items will be removed in one minute and then the message that will be broadcast when it actually has removed so here we can uh, ampersand symbols for the color codes and the plus remove amount uh, is how many uh, uh, entities were removed in that in that removal process uh, broadcast warning whether or not to broadcast the warning or not, whether you actually want to use the scheduler or not, so true or false, whether you actually want to actually clear the lag every now and again. Uh, auto removal interval, so this is 300, 400 sorry, and this is the number of seconds uh, it takes for the auto removal to run, so every 400 seconds it will uh, remove the, uh, the entities and stuff, and then the delay, so in 60 seconds uh, the thing will be run so you got a delay there so people that may have been placing stuff on the floor for trades or something can pick them up quickly um, depending on the nature of your server and whatnot 
Uh, and then you've got the filters for what should be not be removed in the auto removal. So things like arrows, parameters, so you can set these to true or false depending on what should not be removed and whatnot, which is uh, rather useful. Again, you can also add mobs here. Uh, so you can add that there. And this is also removed in the lag clear. Oh, sorry. This is the one that's the lag clear. So these are effectively the same. Uh, but when you, this is the one which is auto removal, so run the slash clear lag command and it will remove uh, these things. But when you do the lag clear, it will remove these things. So you can change these, uh, well or not. And also actually you can broadcast from removal, so true or false. So when the admin types in lag clear, it will broadcast this removal to let players know that the lag has been cleared. Okay, and then we have the lag check. So these are the things that we included in the when you do the lag check command. So all the mobs that counted up and all the entities and stuff. And finally, we have the limits. So this is what we went to use. Uh, if you want to limit uh, the number of entities and stuff, so you can limit uh, boats, falling blocks, orbs, paintings, and all of these things here. So this is true or false when you want to limit these. And then you've got the max here. Uh, of how many there can exist, so how many boats can exist and stuff. And, and then you've also got filters as well for the world. Uh, you can also broadcast removal, so whether or not you want to, when it checks for the limit, if it's higher than this limit, then it will remove them and broadcast the fact that it has. Okay, so that's the main config. We just look at custom clears. Okay, so we're in this file, we have the custom clears. So you can actually schedule uh, custom entity removers. So for instance, here's the Clearville uh, custom entity remover. Uh, the interval zero obviously won't be run. So you can set that to a high number. So this is how often it will uh, uh, run. Uh, whether or not to broadcast or a file type before, and this would be the broadcasting message. So village for cleaner or clear villages for you. Uh, and then you've got the world filters, the worlds it will not uh, clear, and then the list of things it will clear, so villages and you know, other things here uh, and stuff. Uh, this other one is a, in my PvP cleaner. Again, interval zero, so it's disabled, and this will run every interval uh, that you define here. So, for instance, like for every 100 seconds, it will do a PvP cleaner and remove arrows and items. So I can add uh, more here. These are very, as always, it's just to copy and paste. Rename this one, I don't know. We'll just call it uh, Squid Remover. You can change, obviously, here. We can put that Squid here to change the actual message. Make it every uh, 10 minutes. And instead of arrows and stuff, we can just put the monster monster name there. So that's how the uh, clear custom clears work. You can add different ones here. So you can add, obviously the scheduler will run if you've got it running on the main config. Will clear the lag for things. But if you want to have it more fine tuned for certain things like squares or villages, uh, you actually have the option to do that. So. There we go. Uh, and that is the entire Clear Lag plugin. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been me, Sam K. Group Gaming, signing out. Showing you how to use and install the Spigot server. For those of you who don't know what the Spigot is, basically it's the same as your craftprocket.jar, which you may use already on your server. However, it has a lot of modifications and tweaks to it, which make uh, basically 